I wasn't expecting it. You know, we started talking more as an ambassador role, but um, I think that um, it's great. I'm so honored that WTA thought of me um, in that way, that they have trusted me with this responsibility to me is a very big deal, you know, just to move from the tennis to another perspective. And I'm shocked, I have to tell you, with the amount of work and just how they take it everything to detail. And, you know, when you're a player, you don't realize none of this. You just, you know, you're like this, right? Like a horse, just constant training. Um, and yeah, it's insane, it's insane. But I'm, I'm really learning so much, um, the industry, the business of sport. Well, luckily I, I, you know, I get along with all the players that are going to be qualifying. So it's quite recent, you know, my retirement. So I do hold a quite warm relationship with them. It's not like I'm a legend and I just come and, you know, I've been away for a long period of time. I think that they're going to be also be be comfortable to talk to me. That's also very important for them to to have a familiar face. They can see me. By the way, how is it going? How is how's going to be the locker room? How is it going to be the court? Is it indoor? Is it outdoor? Um, so yeah, that's that's really something that that is different this year. Having a familiar face that they can that they can rely on and feel safe in a way. I think WTA has had a presence over 20 years in the Middle East. Really, it's been such a long history, and now that they have been bringing more tournaments into the calendar, like Abu Dhabi and now Riyadh, I think it's a, it's a great sign um, of of connection with tennis, with sports. I mean, for me, sports just connects everything, no matter what, where. Um, me, myself, being from different continents and traveling and, and finding tennis that unites cultures and everything, I think it's great.